Paul Rubens was one of the most iconic comedians and actors of his generation. He created one of the most beloved characters in pop culture, Pee Wee Herman. Rubin's work entertained and inspired millions of people around the world until his untimely passing of cancer. Rubin's was born in Peekskill, New York on August 27, 1952. Grew up in Sarasota, Florida with his parents, Judy and Milton Rubenfeld. Rubin's father was a businessman and his mother was a homemaker. Rubin's began performing at a young age. He appeared in local theater productions and on television commercials. After graduating from high school, Rubens moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in comedy. In the early 1970s, he became a fixture on the Los Angeles comedy scene. He performed at clubs such as the Comedy Store and the Troubadour. He also appeared on television shows such as The Gong Show and The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. In 1978, Rubens created the iconic character of Pee Wee Herman for a one-man show at the Groundlings Theater. The character was inspired by Rubin's childhood love of circuses and clowns. The show was a success, and Rubin's began performing as Pee Wee on television and in films. In 1981, Rubin's created and starred in the HBO special The Pee Wee Herman Show. The special was a critical and commercial success, and it led to the creation of the Pee Wee's Playhouse television series. In 1985, Rubin starred in the film Pee Wee's Big Adventure. The film was directed by Tim Burton and written by Rubens and Phil Hartman. The film follows Pee Wee on a cross-country road trip to retrieve a stolen bicycle. If you're of a certain age, there are undoubtedly scenes from the movie lodged eternally in your brain. If you've never seen it, you really should. It was a critical and commercial success, and it's considered to be one of the best children's films of all time. The film was praised for its humor, its imagination, and its heartwarming story. It led to Pee-wee's Playhouse, which aired from 1986 to 1990 and won numerous awards, including 16 Emmys. The show was known for its surreal humor, its whimsical sets and costumes, and its eclectic cast of characters. Rubin's performance as Pee-wee was iconic, and he quickly became one of the most popular comedians in the world. The show was also praised for its educational value. It taught children about a variety of topics, including letters, numbers, and shapes. The show also featured a number of celebrity guests, including Oprah Winfrey, Whoopi Goldberg, and Ray Charles. Life wasn't always a laughing matter for Rubens, as in 1991, he was arrested for indecent exposure after he was found pleasuring himself in a public restroom. The arrest was widely publicized, and it damaged Rubens' reputation. He was subsequently fired from the Pee Wee's Playhouse revival that was in development. The arrest also led to a decline in Rubens' career. He struggled to find work, and he was largely forgotten by the public, temporarily. In the mid-1990s, he started a comeback with a number of films and television shows, including Batman Returns, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Blow. He also revived the Pee Wee Herman character for a Broadway show in 2010, and in 2011 was featured in a viral SNL clip with Andy Samberg, where the two go out drinking and assault Anderson Cooper and a cop. Of note, Rubens had auditioned for the NBC sketch show in the early 1980s, but was ultimately passed over, reportedly for Gilbert Gottfried. This led him to focus on his stage performances as Pee Wee Herman, which laid the groundwork for his iconic film roles as the character. If Rubens had been cast on SNL, Pee Wee Herman might never have happened. In recent years, Rubens had continued to act and perform. He also became a vocal advocate for LGBTQ rights. In 2018, he was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at the GLAAD Media Awards. Rubens was married to actress Deb Mazur from 1989 to 1990. Rubens passed away on July 30th, 2023, at the age of 70. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite memory of Paul Rubens? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you want more celebrity bios in your feed, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Life Story.